This is a B30 production. I think there's something very inherently basic about ice and fire. And so it's been amazing to me. There are as many people as there are who have never seen an ice lantern before. Generally, if somebody asks me what I do, I call myself a luminary artist. Well, like ice glass, um, when I'm making ice glass, I make it in a big pool of ice. This year has been wonderful with all the snow because I can create these beautiful edges that are all organic and free form. And then the plastic um, just holds the water in place. And when it pulls out, it just kind of naturally breaks because it's just too big to lift. So um, I'll pull that piece out, look at it, and then stick it in the snow and keep pulling out pieces. I've received a lot of input about how uh, how beautiful they are. And they are naturally beautiful. I don't really do a whole lot. I just kind of put it out there. I fill it, freeze it, pop it, and you know, just marvel at the beauty of it. Every line, every movement of the ice, everything in the ice reflects the light. So sometimes I even break the globe as it's freezing to enhance the lines, or I do other thermal shocking kind of processes. Everybody can find the magic in it. We're going to REI tonight to really show people how to make an ice lantern, uh, to make ice glass. I think the beauty of it is the way the light plays in it. So, and I say play because it's not like I'm really strict about where the light's supposed to go. A piece of opaque ice is more likely to absorb the light and really glow, whereas a piece of clear ice will transmit it through it um, as well as glow with it. The really cool thing is, is the natural imperfection in the ice actually starts to enhance those little cracks and crevices. It's just placing the light in places to really enhance the shape of the ice and so that it can really look amazing. So basically you're making a water balloon. You attach when I give a class or a presentation, usually I start off with the really basics. What is an ice lantern? and proceed from there on to how to create an indoor display or an outdoor display. A lot of people think ice lanterns are just for outdoors, but because of the way I've developed the ice globes uh, to work, you can bring them inside as well. And a lot of people have, have seen the ice glass at various events that I've done, whether it's at the Luminary Loppet last year, or at the John Beer Grease Dog Sled Marathon up north in Duluth, or um, in London Hills. This uh, holiday season, I put a bunch of ice glass in there. I think the best part of it is people saying, I'm actually looking forward to cold weather now because it's that sense of wonder. It's like seeing a child see snow fall for the first time. I mean, it's, it's amazing to see that look again. Contact us at watchb30 at gmail.com or see more stories at youtube.com slash watchb30. Engage your city.